So yesterday, June 19th, at uh, about 1 o'clock, uh, Souk Detachment received a tip uh, from members of the public that the uh, remaining two suspects in the shooting that we had out here June 14th may be at an address on uh, Kirby Road. Uh, Souk Detachment members attended to investigate this tip, which was one of uh, many, and uh, uh, determined that the, there was some credibility to it. Uh, they surrounded uh, the home on Kirby Road. Uh, the uh, investigation led them to believe that the suspects were hiding inside. Uh, they locked the area down, uh, surrounded the house. As I mentioned, uh, we called in the uh, Vancouver Island Emergency Response Team, who arrived uh, uh, shortly thereafter. And uh, last night, I'm happy to say, at about 10:30 uh, p.m., uh, we safely arrested uh, our remaining two suspects, which includes uh, Josh Lafleur. They're presently in custody uh, with us. The investigation is ongoing and uh, will be turned over to the courts. Uh, we expect that uh, these two suspects will appear in court late this evening, uh, likely will be by uh, telephone. Talk to us about how exactly uh, you guys took these, these two into custody. I mean, you surrounded the house, all these, all these uh, resources there. We're hearing a crawl space. I mean, break down how, the actual time when you got him. When you okay, got so yeah, him. So how did you guys take him into custody? Exactly, I mean, that's, you know. Well, uh, the suspects wouldn't come out. That's that was the reason for uh, us being there for uh, the better part of 11 hours. Uh, they were hiding, as I mentioned, in a crawl space. Uh, with the use of the emergency response team and a police service dog, we were able to get them out. Uh, one suspect sustained minor injuries, superficial injuries, was taken to hospital, checked out, and both of them are in custody now. So one was bit by a dog. Talk to us about that. I mean, the guys had to send not the dog go in. Into, how, how not not going to go into how his injuries uh, were sustained, uh, but he did receive minor injuries. He's fine and uh, presently in custody, and the investigation is ongoing. How much of a relief is this for the community of Souk to, to have these suspects in custody now? Well, I think it's a huge relief for uh, the residents of Souk to, to have this, uh, this part of the investigation over and done with. And one thing I want to make perfectly clear uh, is just how thankful we are to, uh, uh, to citizens in Souk and in West Shore uh, for the amount of information that they forwarded to us, uh, which eventually led to the uh, safe arrest of the last two suspects. Uh, and during the pursuit of those tips, we did recover two uh, handguns, one of which was loaded. Did was you? there was there any connection prior connection between the house and the suspects, or were they just happened to be hiding there? We didn't know of any prior connection. What are the uh, what are the charges being recommended? Uh, the charges uh, that were laid against Dustin Brown was attempted murder, and uh, those haven't been laid yet against the remaining two suspects. Uh, we'll know about that later in the day. What about Friday? I mean, there was a huge manhunt, huge search on Friday. Is there any indication that? these two were actually even in that area? Did it lead you to here? I mean, talk to us about Friday to here. How do you get from there to there? Uh, the search uh, which happened in the uh, West Shore Detachments area on Friday, we do believe they were there. That's when the handguns were recovered. Uh, and uh, at some point that, uh, that uh, search was called off. And obviously uh, getting from there to here, the suspects relocated. Back to that location and found a new place to go. Why would they distance. come back here? I, I don't have a good answer for that really. Where Just were the handguns recovered? Yeah, that was in the, uh, in the search that took place uh, around the estate. Drugs as well? Did you find drugs as well? No. Um, talk to us about the fact that, I mean, there's a huge distance. Do you guys believe they were there? There's a huge distance from there to here. I mean, you'd have to think it'd be very difficult to get that distance on foot. Are you guys looking at other charges possibly? Accessories, people who are helping these these uh, these suspects while they're on the land. I don't expect uh, any charges, any other charges uh, at this point. But like I said, the investigation is ongoing. Uh, what's important to know is that the remaining two suspects in the soup shooting, which happened on June 14th, are in custody. And uh, I won't comment anymore. It's uh, we're going to be completing our investigation. It's going to be thoroughly investigated and uh, the matter is now going to be before the courts. Did Lafleur have a criminal record? I know he was on the Crime Stoppers Most Wanted list, but did he have a record here? I won't comment on his criminal record, but he was a subject of numerous outstanding warrants Do under Souk and other jurisdictions. And who was the third suspect? I'm not identifying the third suspect until charges are laid. What's his age? He's a 21-year-old male from Souk. Do we 
Do we know any more about the circumstances that uh, led to actually fi- shots being fired? I mean, you say you know all these guys from drugs. Do you know any more, you know, a week later about why the trigger was pulled? Was there a vendetta? Was it, uh, you know, over land? I don't know. I, I won't speculate on that. Like I said, it's an ongoing investigation that's going to be turned over to the justice system, and I wouldn't want to compromise that. Are any of the victims facing charges for other crimes right now? I'm not going to comment on that either. Is there anything else you can tell us? Um, I can't take it Is Souk safer? Is the West Shore safer today than it was yesterday? Uh, for sure. What's the condition of the victim shot in the torso? The, uh, the one victim remains in the hospital. Stable? In, in stable condition, yes. Can you kind of put it into words for us, how, that, how the West Shore is safer today? I mean, huge manhunt ending. You guys threw major resources at it. Talk to us about how hard it was to get here. And, and for you as a, as a police officer, how big of a deal it is that you guys have two, uh, two more suspects in, in custody? Well, I mean, it's a huge deal for us, uh, especially in the small community of Souk, to have arrested the last two in, in this kind of surprising crime, at least surprising for the residents of Souk. Uh, so how is the community safer? It's safer that uh, uh, two persons involved in a violent crime have been safely taken into custody through the help of the public and through very hard work of the members of uh, West Shore Detachment, Souk Detachment, and the Vancouver Island General Investigation Section. Can you tell us about the, the homeowners, where they were found? Were they a bit shaken up by this? Uh, the homeowners in that area were uh, you know, quite rattled that uh, this was in their neighborhood. So they broke into that home, or were they let in? Uh, they did not break into that home, and uh, that is part of the investigation. So Um, and you said tonight for the court appearance, but to likely telebail? I expect that they probably will be appearing uh, on the phone before a Justice of the Peace later this afternoon because of the, uh, the length the investigation will take and how late it was that we took them into custody. But they have to appear before 10.30, right? Unless you... Uh, that's right, 24 hours will be up at 10.30. So. And the only charges are attempted murder at this point? Uh, that's the only charge that's being entertained. But, uh, like I said, it's an ongoing investigation. In your first report, you said that there were uh, other groups of people at the time when the shooting happened. Uh, any other people being investigated as part of this, uh, this case? Uh, not at this time. We're just going to get a cover shot. But <laughs> Tell us how many officers you guys had on... Oh, I won't comment on the amount of resources used, okay. uh, just for purposes of officer safety. But I can tell you, uh, what's important to know is that the Vancouver Island emergency response team was utilized the investigations being conducted by members of Souk Detachment with the assistance of uh, the Vancouver Island General Investigation Section. Fair to say this has been the top priority for Souk RCMP since Tuesday night? Absolutely. Uh, our resources have been stretched to the max. Uh, since last Tuesday, uh, our officers uh, have uh, been working long shifts, very little sleep, and uh, all the other work is basically just stacking up for us to get to now. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Thank you. I exhausted all the questions. That's the first thing. <laughs>